Susanna Martinez, your PEO advocate, fighting to maximize your benefits without overpaying in PEO fees. Now, why, how would you know when is a good time to explore a PEO? Or how do you know if you're a good fit for a PEO? If you're struggling with the HR burden, the compliance, payroll, handling the administrative minutia when it comes to recruiting, onboarding your employees, the whole life cycle of the employees, of the training, the employee handbooks, the job descriptions, the day-to-day -day operations when it comes to your employees, the employee reviews, the exit interviews, from hire, if you're struggling from hiring, hire to retire, or hire to fire of your employees, you have a lot of turnover, you're looking at growing and expanding, you're looking at going into multiple states, or you have employees already in multiple states, you don't have the HR infrastructure internally, you're to the point where you're either going to have to bring somebody um, on board to increase your HR infrastructure in-house, or it's possibly a time to start looking at a PEO and how they can be a good partner and be a good resource to your current team that you have in place. So that's typically when it's a good time to explore PEO. If you're struggling with managing the day-to-day -day onboarding and offboarding your employees and you have a lot of turnover, ins and outs, that would be a good time. Or if you're experiencing high increases when it comes to your health insurance or workers' comp insurance premiums, that could also be a good time as well. So if you have any other questions, give me a shout out. Susanna Martinez at PEO for the season.